Greetings guys, John here for uh, JohnCampion.net and I wanted to give my quick review of uh, the fifth installment of the Fast and Furious franchise, Fast Five. Now of course, everybody knows a whole bunch of the cast from all the Fast and Furious movies have come back, including the leads Vin Diesel and Paul Walker, but they are joined most notably in this one by The Rock, Dwayne Johnson. Um, now I gotta say it up front, I absolutely detested Fast and the Furious 1, 2, and 3. I thought they were horrible. The first one was just a blatant point break ripoff. Plot point for plot point. Total ripoff. Plagiarism at its worst. The second one was terrible. The third one, don't even get me started on that one. Then I saw the fourth one, expecting it to be as awful as all the rest. And you know what? I actually had fun with the fourth one. I enjoyed it. I didn't think it was a great movie, uh, but I enjoyed it. So them kind of promising to keep in the vein of the fourth one, Add on top of that the fact that they added The Rock, who I, I think is a great action star. He's not a great thespian, but I think he's a great action star. And I was interested. Went to go see it. <clears throat> Gotta tell you guys, it's a hell of a fun movie. It's much better than the fourth one. I think it is by far, easily, hands down, the very best of the series. Now, let me talk, first of all, about a couple of the negative things. The dialogue in this film mostly is pretty bad. Whenever they try to be serious, it's bad. When they try to be funny... It works. The humor in the film really, really works. Ludacris is quite funny in it, and I never like Ludacris in movies, but he was quite funny in it. Tyrese was pretty funny in it. Uh, a couple of the other guys in the crew were really funny. When the dialogue was meant to be funny and lighthearted, it was funny and lighthearted. Whenever they tried to be serious, it just fell completely flat. The overall story is also not that good with a couple of really big glaring plot holes and a kind of a pathetic villain um, that they had in the film. And so... You know, basic thing, things I did not expect that would be very good in this movie, dialogue, plot, weren't very good in this movie. Let's call a spade a spade. Now, that being said, like I said, the movie is really funny when it tries to be funny. The action sequences are absolutely out of this world. Um, the Rock is an amazing character in this. He is badass from the moment he comes on screen till the last time he's on screen. It works really, really well. Vin Diesel work, Paul Walker work. They did a nice job of kind of creating a something that resembles a continuity in the story throughout the series, which wasn't too bad. But listen, this is just a turn your brain off. This is a fun, exciting, laughable, in a good way, entertaining film. That, that's great for the summer, summer movie season, even though it's still April. Overall, I'm going to end up giving Fast Five a uh, probably a 7 to a 7.5 out of 10. I'll say 7 because some of the other stuff that was bad was really bad. But the stuff that's great is exceedingly great. But listen, I have to point this out. When you go to see Fast Five, stay for the credits. There is an extra scene added about halfway through the credits that is a really good extra little scene. I thought it added a lot to it. A couple of familiar faces pop up. You'll want to stick around for it. Anyway, that's my review for Fast Five. For JohnCampia.net, I'm John Campia.